Well, the rain has quit for the most part. Blowing about 15 out of the northwest. Me and Jack, we just got back from picking up some, picking up a knife to sharpen. An old buck called a field mate, I think. A young lady from Hatteras brought us some uh, swordfish darts for darting tuna. She's a tuna fisherman down there. I'll show you a picture of them. I sharpened them for, but I forgot to take any pictures of them. She uh, had three of them. She just bought them brand new. It's a common thing used in the swordfish industry and the tuna fishery for darting the fish when it gets close up to the boat. Just a big bronze dart. Goes on the end of a stainless steel rod on a long pole. Uh, this knife we just picked up is in a cloth type case. It's got a rope handle, cord handle on top of the buck handle. The, I don't know if it's split or just add it on there for show, make the handle bigger, I'm not sure. It's one of the older Craylon type, rubber type handles. You can find some of these now built in the later 90s that had the nice redwood handles on them. Or, or the standard black handles with the metal bolts, do you know? This one is not in too bad a shape. It's got some scratches along it. Should clean up pretty good. It didn't sharpen up. I got to try and get it ready. The fellow thinks he wants maybe to pick it up this afternoon late. We'll have to see how that goes. Okay, let's get back to you in a little bit. You can see the breeze is still shaking along, but the clouds are gone. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, so maybe we'll get out for a spin tomorrow. We got this uh, 639. I think they call it a field mate or a field master, depending on what you read. 1987 in the early 1900s it was made. It's got the, like I think I told you, the Craylon rubber handle, you know. But it's all polished up and sharpened up, and most of the scratches are gone. She's uh, okay. I gotta call the guy up and ask if he wants to get her this afternoon or in the morning or sometime tomorrow. Stand by. Nice heavy duty knife. <laughs> Jack said, come on, come on, light, let's go. He likes to get his ears in the wind. A little chilly for his, his ears to be out there right now, I can tell you. Especially at 60. The sun is bright when it, in the afternoon going down to the western. Oh, rice burner's rough. Stand by. Well, we're headed home. Look at that. 25 big ones. That's well, very nice. His name is Chris. Of course, I didn't charge him $25, but he gave me a great tip. That's nice when people give you tips. Some do, some don't. It's like anything else. It's nice when you get a nice one. <laughs> it's gas money, ain't it, Big O' Jack? Yeah, gas money. Sunshine tomorrow. Land of Nada. Over the bay. I just talked to the chain man. 
I'm ready to go, he said. I've been housebound. Him and the guru had the flu or a cold or something. Both of them been laid up. I think they're over it. We'll have to see how that goes in the morning. But we're going somewhere. See you later.